Hello, hello, and welcome back to Mojo Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, the one and only Powerpuff Girls slash Jojo's Bizarre Adventure recap and discussion podcast. I'm Raven. And I'm Allison. Today we are getting back into battle tendency here. We're going to be discussing the second and third episodes of Jojo Part 2, which are called The Game Master and The Pillar Man. I don't believe there is any new news regarding either PPG or Jojo, so we can just um, get into talking about the episodes. So in Game Master, we're continuing from where we left off with Jojo shooting up a window and Strazo witnesses scream. Jojo is oblivious. Smokey freaks because Jojo shot at a person. Strazo gets up despite being covered in bullet wounds. They play the new theme song. And Strazo's looks have drastically changed since putting the mask on. Strazo picks out the bullets and throws them at Jojo. Strazo plans to kill Jojo straight off. He shoots beams from his eyes at Jojo's neck and head. Jojo fools him with a mirror and then bashes Strazo, I think, with his gun. The mirror thing was goofy. A little. Because he totally had holes in his forehead and neck, so that doesn't really explain how he fooled him with mirrors. How did he have a giant mirror? Yeah, where did he get the fucking mirror? With him, I call foul. It's like... I assume it's like how he just pulled the Tommy gun out of nowhere, like he's a Looney Tunes character or something. I guess. The Haman at first doesn't work. Strazo is using bugs in a scarf to channel the Haman. Jojo puts grenades on his scarf and blows him up. Strazo's parts try to put themselves back together. Jojo runs away with Smokey in tow. Strazo needs time to regenerate. Strazo holds a woman hostage on a bridge as kind of a test for Jojo. Jojo calls his bluff, and then Strazo pulls out the woman's tooth. And for some reason, Jojo rips off his coat, and he's down to a tank top. Gotta show off his muscles. (laughs) Strazo tosses the woman aside. Haman is yelled. Uh, Jojo deflects Strazo's eye lasers with a Haman shot glass. Again. A little goofy. Strazo starts to fall and Jojo catches him and tries to question him. Strazo brings up the Pillar Man and claims he will awaken soon. Uh, and the Pillar Man is the, the guy in the ruins that we saw previously. Like in, almost like encased in roots. Haman shoots out from various holes on Strazo and he disintegrates. So then it's almost like we have like a news report. It's uh, 1938 with the Second World War. Um, The Germans somehow have learned of Strazo. Uh, There's this dude, Von Stroheim, and he talks about a man waking up. We go back to Jojo. The woman from the bridge kicks him for calling her a floozy. Jojo plans to go to Mexico to see the Pillar Man. Back in Mexico, it is revealed Speedwagon is alive. The Nazis want to know about the man in the ruins. They want to feed blood to the Pillar Man. They have many prisoners. A boy steps forward to volunteer, but the Nazis want to kill the rest. The experiment of feeding the Pillar Man blood begins. So uh, at one point during the fight on the bridge with Straitso, Jojo says that Straitso will soon see Speedwagon in hell. So I want to know what Speedwagon did that Jojo thinks that he's in hell. I mean, I guess he was kind of like with those criminal guys, like in the original Jojo story. Like he's with all those guys that were trying to jump people that walked down their street or whatever. So maybe that's where he's getting it from. Maybe. It's possible he doesn't even know about that stuff though, and he just kind of like knows Speedwagon from like then on. But like yeah, I was just like, okay. <laughs> and of course, uh Von Stroheim has to have a creepy introduction. This uh, lady is, like, shaving his face for him, and she accidentally nicks him, and he makes her, like, lick the bloody wound. 
And he like puts the straight razor like under her tongue. Gotta emphasize what creep this man is, even though we already know he's a Nazi. Yeah, they kind of had the, maybe not in this episode, but the next one, like the Germans, I don't know, like laughing, like their mouths were ginormous and stuff like that. Like they kind of went out of their way to kind of make them look grotesque. Yeah. And they did sort of have, maybe it wasn't in this, but like a montage of like the different things that the Germans were trying to win the war, like kind of more supernatural stuff that they were looking into. Yes, they did mention that in this episode, I believe. It's sort of a known thing that like the, the Nazis, or at least like Hitler was obsessed with the occult and he kind of had like the Nazis looking for shit like that for him. Like the Spear of Destiny that's supposedly like the one that killed Jesus. And the uh, one kid amongst the prisoners that was left alive um, they let him live because he was the bravest and then they said like bravery like his deserved to be cultivated whatever that means. Uh, so then we move on to the next episode, The Pillar Man. So Jojo has been racing across the Mexican desert and he's being Pursued by one of Von Stroheim's men. Um, he knows he's being followed, but he doesn't know who it is. Um, the man is impressed that Joseph was able to find him when he was so well hidden. He has like a special cloak or a sheet or something. And he wants to take him back to his base to question him about Straitso. Jojo realizes he's a Nazi and wants to know what he wants with the information about Straitso. Jojo throws up the man, whose name is Donovan, he throws up his cloak and tries to punch him through it, but gets a fistful of cactus needles instead. Donovan gets Jojo on the ground and mocks him for losing, but Joseph was indeed aiming for the cactus, which he declares a fabulous conductor of Hotman. Jojo is relieved to find out from Donovan that Speedwagon is alive, though he wonders about his treatment at the hands of the, of the Germans. He leaves Donovan to his fate in the desert. He has him, like, upside down, like, partially stuffed into a cactus. Uh, meanwhile, back at the Nazi base, Von Stroheim tries to get information out of Speedwagon about the Pillarman shortly after the prisoners were fed to his fossil. Pillarman starts leaking blood, the Nazis freak out and turn the sprinkler system on, but the Pillarman crawls on out of the fossil. Von Stroheim is delighted and decides to call him Sanfiento, or Santana in the manga, in the manga if I can talk, uh, after the Mexican wins. The Pillar Man tries to get up, but slips in the puddle of water left behind by the sprinklers. Von Stroheim laughs and mocks San Fiendo as he falls, declaring him a simple primitive. Then Von Stroheim sticks a prisoner who is forced to wear a stone mask on him, but the new vampire phases into San Fiendo as they fight and is completely absorbed by him. He, like, tries to hit him, but stuck inside of him. It's real weird. Speedwagon wants to know about the Pillar Man's level of intelligence when the Pillar Man suddenly says Von Stroheim's name. The Nazis are impressed slash horrified because he shouldn't be able to hear what they're saying from their little observatory. Meanwhile, Jojo tries to sneak into the Nazi base disguised as a woman. The Nazis don't buy his very bad drag and make fun of him. He uses tequila bottles to shoot harm of the Nazis and steals their uniform. To me, jo Joseph is like the Bugs Bunny of Jojo's because he's very clever. He can pull weapons seemingly out of nowhere and sometimes he does dress in drag. Uh, though the chamber in which San Viento is in is completely sealed, he manages to escape by bending and contorting himself into the vents, though they are only two inches tall. He is able to contort his whole skeletal, his whole skeletal structure on command. He ends up crawling out of the vents and in through a Nazi soldier's eyes and possesses him. Stroheim orders his men to shoot the possessed soldier, but the bullets merely tickle him. He points at the soldiers, and Stroheim is convinced he's merely mimicking their movements when he speaks and demands to know who disturbed his slumber, much to Speedwagon's horror. San Viento then fires a bullet out of his finger at one of the Germans, killing him. And at some point, he kind of, like, gets out of the dude, and I'm pretty sure that killed him. Jojo, disguised as a German officer, arrives to rescue Speedwagon, who declines his help, thinking Joseph is a Nazi. Jojo then plucks hairs from von Stroheim's head and uses Hamann to transform them into force fields against San Viento's bullets. Jojo jokes that von Stroheim's hair feels like straw and he will lose it soon if he isn't careful and that he should invest in a better moisturizer. And that is about where the episode ends. I'm not really sure what to comment. Like, I'm going all the way back to the beginning with the... the guy that was following him in the desert he had like a really long freaky tongue which seems to come up a bit and i don't think he's like any like 
he's not a vampire or a, or a zombie or anything. He yeah, just, that was broad daylight. He just had a really long, creepy tongue. I'm not sure if any of the new characters that have been introduced in the last couple of episodes, if their names are a reference to anything. Um, Smokey is, of course, named after Smokey Robinson. Um, his, his full name is Smokey Brown, which is a little a yikes to me to name a black character. But um, he's also named after James Brown as well. I'm not really sure what to say. I mean, I'm I, I'm hoping like we kind of get more information from Speedwagon about the Pillar Man, but I don't know if him and the group that originally went there know that much, or like if that much was discovered before Straight So attacked him. Right. Or like even what he remembers. Cause I mean, he should have been dead. So like Yeah. You know, sometimes if you're that badly wounded, you may not even remember what occurred, like right around the time you were injured. Yeah. And we don't really know like how they found out about the Pillar Man. Um, initially when um Speedwagon and Co. went to Mexico, we just know that they found this man and then when they got there, um he had all the stone masks around him, so they were like, Oh shit. Yeah, what have the Nazis done with the stone masks? I mean, I guess they put it on that one guy that they put in there with the Pillar Man. But the Pillar Man seems to be something different than the like the vampires or the zombies that put the mask on. He's got a whole other set of powers and stuff. Yeah, I'm just not sure if like maybe just like individual vampires have like different like skills or because if he'd been um a vampire for like a really long time maybe he knows way more skills than like say Dio who was basically a vampire for a week yeah that could be possible too it's kind of ancient and I don't know maybe he kind of went to sleep for a while because he's just I could see if you were alive and you couldn't die I mean I guess he could step into the sun but like if you're just like bored <laughs> yeah. or something you're like i'll just go sleep for a while it's like i'm tired i'm bored i'm gonna wake up when they invent something cooler all right well i think that's all for this um discussion of these episodes next week we will be talking about the episodes jojo versus the ultimate life form and ultimate warriors from ancient times um so make sure to tune on into that if you've been listening to the show so far and you've been enjoying it it would be super swell if you could leave us a review on your podcatcher of choice or um if you're watching or listening to this on youtube like subscribe comment etc um we could definitely definitely um use the feedback um that would be really helpful and if you have people um you know who might be interested in listening to a powerpuff girls and jojo's bizarre adventure podcast you know maybe let them know about the pod maybe recommend favorite episode or a good place to start or just you know have them start at the beginning yeah thank you for listening so far and and all that jazz until next time, I'll be the roundabout. Goodbye. Bye.